Jacoby Brissett. What do you think? Oh, boy. What do you think? I mean, Jim, first of all, uh, is this Belichick just saying, you know, uh, what he's saying about Garoppolo being day-to-day and it's possible that he can play out Thursday just to keep Bill O'Brien at bay best he can? What, what do yeah. you think's playing out here, Steve? Yeah, I, I, you know, you know <laughs> Bill Belichick doesn't give you any medical information ever anyway and it, but but the the film doesn't lie man the, the the cameras were on jimmy garoppolo and the doctors when he was down and he was wincing with pain and they, they were reaching and touching his shoulder it's just throwing shoulder rich mm-hmm. just throwing shoulder can you imagine you throwing a ball with a bad shoulder it no i can't and so he, he you know they got the thursday night game there's no way and then they're talking about hopefully coming back the next week against Buffalo. You know, this is going to be really interesting because Jacoby Brissett, you know, he was a guy that, w- you know, maybe maybe the, uh, the Patriots know more about quarterbacks than everything else, everybody else, because they seem to be getting these guys a little bit later. And then uh, this, this North Carolina State kid was the fifth quarterback taken, fifth. And on my chart, he wasn't ranked that high. But you know what? He comes in a game under practice, complete six passes out of nine, no interceptions, you know, played pretty well. And now he's going to have to do it with really no backup. It's like, okay, protect the ball. But by the way, protect yourself, too, because we can't afford for you to get hurt because we don't want Julian Edelman having to play quarterback he's our number one target at a receiver right now yeah certainly with jj watt coming to town with jadavian Clowney on a short week so should we keep an eye out for them to sign somebody same in cleveland by the way some rumors what do you think we could (laughs) who could they go get johnny manzel he's taking classes over there at a&m how about tim tebow no he's over there no he's an instructional league as of today with the mets steve he's not available in you all seriousness, though, that contract legally and go sign nice. in the NFL. In all seriousness, though, do they have like a a a list in a drawer somewhere where they can pop? Because they're mm. serious. If yeah. if Jimmy G can't go, there is no way they're going to go with a backup quarterback being Julian Edelman on a short week on Thursday Night Football against J.J. Watt and company. It's just not going to happen. They very well might, Rich. They might. I mean, it's a short week. I mean, yes, they have a list, and it's not in a drawer. I mean, their scouting department has a has a thorough list of who is available, whoever that might be, plus guys that they could trade for uh, for relatively, you know, cheap, meaning, you know, lower draft choices and that sort of thing. So they have all of that ready to go at their fingertips. They just have to decide, you know, and, and part of this decision is a medical decision. How bad is Jimmy Garoppolo? Because is he, is he, is he feeling a little better today where, where he was really shocked and, uh, you know, emotional yesterday, but he is going to get back. He is going to be Tom Brady's backup. There's no, there's no question about that um, because they could, they're not going to get a new guy ready in, in a couple of days to, to play on a Thursday night. It's just such a short week. So Julian Edelman knows their offense. He's played quarterback at Kent State. He's, uh, you take a snap. He understands how to call a play in the huddle, the whole thing. They could probably do it with him if they needed to, but Brissett has got to protect himself. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.